Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your March 2022 career and money reading. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to you. It's very nice to have you. And if you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you, all of your likes, subscribes, and your fantastic energy. Let's get right into your reading and see what we've got coming out for you. I'm going to pull the overall energy for your month ahead uh, to start off with. We are in Pisces season, so you may be feeling in a lot of different aspects that your intuition is very much on point. Uh, it's guiding you, it's leading you, it's pointing you in the right direction. It's alerting you to thank you to anything that is underhanded or anything that's not quite right. And it's also pointing you to things that are magnificently wonderful. This is also, uh, we have a new moon in Pisces on March 2nd. So new moons are a great time for setting intentions uh, to start manifest manifestation journey, all of those things. But this particular um, new moon, not only is it in nice spiritual Pisces, but it is also in alignment with Jupiter, bringing in a little bit of luck. We also have a positive aspect with Uranus as well, which is the modern ruler of Aquarius, bringing in this energy of innovation, trying new things, breaking out of a cycle, breaking out of a comfort zone, all of this energy that is going on. We're going to start off with the emperor energy here for you. So I feel like you are very much in control at the moment, okay? But not in a power-hungry kind of way. I think that uh, you're actually, for the most part, a lot of you are in a really good place, okay? You're using the emperor energy here to uh, take the lead and to take charge and to really go for your goals, go for your dreams, okay? The, ener the emperor brings in an energy of success, stability, okay? Uh, both feet on the ground, okay? But also brings in this energy of being able to overcome obstacles and challenges and to redirect your energy and to revise your plans where needed. It's a really important energy to be in, right? So it just feels here you're very much large and in charge here, Capricorn. Okay, now you also may be seeking some sort of advice or support there. The Emperor card can quite often represent uh, advice, okay, from somebody. So there could be somebody higher up, a mentor perhaps that you're working with or that you um, are looking to how should we say, um, emanate a little bit, uh, uh, not really imitate. Cause I don't think you're really going to imitate anyone here at Capricorn. I think that you're just going to maybe, and there's somebody maybe that you look up to that you, uh, you hold them in high regard. Okay. In some way. And it's like, you know what? I don't know how you do it. You're my, you're like, you're my mentor. Like I really want to be where you're at. What's the secret to your success? You know, those kind of things. Okay, but I also feel here that some of you are stepping out on your own. Um, you perhaps are looking to open up your own business. Okay, uh, the emperor can quite often represent an entrepreneurial energy. So perhaps there is a business that you already own and you might be looking to do something a little bit different with it, expand it a little bit. Maybe you're in the unenviable position of needing to downsize it because the emperor is big boss energy, right? So, um, but you could also be looking to turn a home-based business into something a little bit more permanent. Whatever it is, you're very much in charge. The hanged man energy is coming in here to give you a big picture perspective, to help you look at other people's points of view, to see someone else's side of the story. The hanged man um, brings in an energy of calm, um, an energy of patience, okay, but also one of letting go of going with the flow, of being open, being receptive. And, you know, um, when we look at things from all angles, okay, when we open our mind, we open our hearts, okay, all these things, we quite often do find answers that we're looking for. So perhaps you're here looking to expand your horizons, right? Uh, the Emperor card, you've gotten to a certain level. You're feeling pretty good, stable, solid, stable, and secure, whether you're there right now or you have been there and are looking to get it again, okay? I think here that you're expanding your horizons, okay? So you're maybe looking at different opportunities. You might look uh, be looking to diversify your interests in some way. Uh, you may also be looking at trying something new, okay? Um, or maybe this is the emperor energy with the hanged man. You're getting someone's guidance, some advice, some support here, and uh, maybe allowing someone, because the hanged man surrender, allowing somebody to show you the ropes or show you the way. This gives you the uh, epiphanies, the enlightenment, the information that you need to make the right choice for you. I also feel we're, the, we're here with the hanged man that some of you have some 
uh, really lofty goals, okay, with the emperor. It's like you're not going to let anything hold you back. You're not going to let anything hold you down. And the hanged man energy may actually be a source of minor frustration for you, okay, especially if something's not happening as fast as you want it to. So it is a lesson in patience sometimes, okay? So uh, it feels like here there is a little bit of a calm maybe before the storm, all right, and there may even be something that you've been missing, okay, and that you need to learn or that you need to find before you can move forward and before you can, um, uh, you know, uh, get something accomplished, get something done, okay? Uh, there could even be somebody standing in your way. Blessings headed your way. We've got the devil card. Now, if you get the devil card in your reading, okay, this little pesky, pesky guy has shown up a couple of times. All right. If you get your, if you get the devil card in your reading, you want it in the blessings position. Okay. And this is your energy here, Capricorn. Okay. So the devil card, I mean, poor you, you're represented by the devil, but anyways, but that's okay. Um, cause the devil's not always all bad. Okay. So the blessings here are perhaps you're looking to make a better choice. All right. Um, sometimes you might be doing a little bit of shadow work. The devil card is where, uh, you know, our shadow side really comes to light. OK, so perhaps, you know, in your quest for success there, you have not always um, acted admirably. Perhaps you've engaged in some mm, underhanded tactics or something. OK, or perhaps there's just a situation that you're in right now where there is something holding you holding you down. Okay, the devil represents attachments. Okay, so something that you're attached to that is no longer healthy, that is no longer good, it may have run its course. All right, and something that you need to keep a perspective on. Whenever the devil shows up, we do need to keep a perspective. Okay, hanged man energy. We also sometimes need boundaries. Okay, so there's certainly something here that you're tied to in some way. It could be some old habits and patterns that you're trying to break. It could be a um, environment that's not healthy for you anymore. It could also be, um, you know, something that you're, you've been obsessed with here. So the blessing here is for one, stepping into your personal power. Okay. Double card, not all bad. All right. Stepping into your personal power, but using your powers Capricorn for good. Okay. Um, you know, doing the right thing. Okay. Making the right choices. Okay. Treating people nicely. Okay. All of these things, because you are a very determined, sometimes stubborn sign. Okay. And sometimes in that energy, it's really all about the end game and not really about you know, uh, people or things that we encounter along the way. I'm trying to say that nicely. Okay. I work side by side with somebody who embodies the true essence of Capricorn. And, um, I think she's a double Capricorn or something. Anyways, we actually work quite well together. Um, sometimes I need to, uh, bring her back down to earth a little bit. Okay. But she can be that person. She's very determined. She can be very, very stubborn. And, you know, sometimes in her quest for success or to achieve what she wants to achieve, she doesn't let anyone stand in her way, which is great. But sometimes some people's feelings get hurt along the way. Fortunately, I'm not one of them because I just kind of like shoot her right down. Okay. But, um, you know, but certainly sometimes that can happen. So I feel as though you're trying to do things the right way and maybe try not to, uh, stomp on anybody on your quest to success. If that is your energy. Okay. Not, not talking bad about cappies or anything like that at all, but let's face it. Sometimes we do get in that energy, but I also feel here that you are putting up some really important boundaries. You are seeing the brighter side of things. Okay. Or you're even trying to maintain a positive outlook here. I also feel that a blessing headed your way is your, um, an opportunity that may come to light for you to break free out of a toxic situation. The tap, the devil can sometimes represent those toxic situations, toxic workplaces, um, toxic boss. Okay. Um, all those things. Okay. People that don't work together, just a really unhealthy kind of environment. And I think that you might have an opportunity to um, break free out of that or draw the line in the sand and put up some very, very healthy boundaries somewhere um, so that you can actually get a little bit of peace of mind uh, as well. OK, but, you know, with that devil energy, I feel that you are very strong. You're very determined. OK, you're on the quest for something and you really do embody in uh, this energy to find your way forward to overcome your obstacles, but not to be 
uh, not to em embody the shadowy aspects of that side, right? So uh, I think you're really trying to do the right thing, okay? The right thing for yourself, for your environment, okay? For anything else there. But I also think here there's something that is going to come in here for some of you that you're really going to be very tempted by. The devil always comes with a warning, and this is in your position of blessings, okay? So there could be something that you really, really want, that you really, really desire that comes in here for you and something that you've maybe been obsessed over a little bit. And this may actually come in here for you. Perspective and boundaries needed, though, because there's always an underbelly. But I do feel here also, Capricorn, that... Um, if there's something that you really wanted... Okay, I think you're going to release control a little bit and you're going to be a little bit more in the flow, a little bit more open to new things, new ideas, okay, or even someone else's um, perspective on things. I also feel here that there's some changes that are imminent for you here as well, okay, and I think there may be an opportunity that comes in here for you that may actually be too good to be true. But because you're uh, looking, taking your time and you're not just jumping on the bandwagon, I think you're going to see the issues before you get um, trapped, okay? And think of those, you know, job opportunities um, that it looks really good on the outside, right? It pays you a lot of money, all of these things, but there's something there. There's something hidden. So, you know, um, uh, a big paycheck, but you may feel as though you sold your soul. A great position with great pay, but you know, the sacrifice there may be that you have to work 60, 70, 80 hours a week and you have no home life. Okay, but I think if that kind of thing comes in, I think you're really going to be in the mindset and in the energy that you can recognize the pitfalls of that and you can possibly avoid that altogether, or you go in knowing that this is probably what's going to happen and you're going to put the boundaries up right off the bat, right off the start. And I don't think you're going to let anybody cross that line, okay? But there may also be a get-rich-quick scheme that comes in here for some of you, some sort of scam, okay, with that devil energy, right, the sleight of hand kind of thing. And with the hanged man energy, again, really working to your benefit. I think that you're not going to get trapped. I think you're going to recognize any kind of deceptive behavior Okay, before you actually uh, lose your shirt or anything like that. So uh, certainly a very, very powerful place for this devil card to be for you. We've got the devil, uh, sorry, we've got the temperance card coming in here also. So we've got Sagittarian energy and you know what, this is interesting. I feel you're being very much guided and protected. Okay, you know, sometimes... Sometimes when I get the devil card out, I do get the temperance card as well. Sometimes we're tempted by something. We've got the devil on one shoulder, the angel on the other, and that's the temperance card, okay? So I think that spirit is really guiding you and protecting you to help you do things in a better way, to help you use your energy to your best advantage without abusing any kind of um, of power or anything like that. I think the um, uh, the temperance energy here with your guardian angels, quite often my guardian angel cards, spirits, angels, guides, past loved ones as well. Okay, you've got this protection over your shoulder here, helping you uh, to avoid, okay, any negative situations, okay, or anything. It's like, uh, it's like um, you're just steered in a certain direction. It's like, nope, that's not for you. Like a big old nope there. And, uh, you know, put the brakes on and I think you're really going to be guided. Okay, so you really have a lot of help that's here along the way. But the temperance card here also helps restore balance and harmony. Okay, brings in a little bit more patience. Okay, <laughs> I hate to say. Okay, but I think you can really find a way to smooth some waters. Okay, so whether this is just your energy and the temperance card is coming in to uh, restore some harmony, okay, or to really show you and guide you along the way, okay, um, but I also do think that uh, that there is a possibility to really follow and, and, and follow your goals, okay, but again, with this gentler kind of energy with the temperance card, okay, um, so I think maybe some of you are trying to make some better choices in your 
and your patterns and your behaviors. But I think you're also trying to let something go. Okay, so whatever you've got going on, we do have this gentler energy. We've got a healing energy here with the temperance card here also. Okay, and you know, we've got some guidance, right? And some big picture thinking, which is really quite important for you. All right, so let's see what else we've got coming out. The Nine of Swords, something that you're worried about or overthinking, overanalyzing. Hello, Devil card. Okay, uh, something that you're obsessed with, something that's overpowering you in some way. The Blessing is letting that go. Ace of Wands. Okay, there's some fresh energy that's coming in here. Burst of Inspiration. Seven of Pentacles. Patience. Okay, patience. New opportunities coming in here. And the Seven of Pentacles has us taking a step back and really looking at all of the information that we've got uh, that comes in. We've got the Fool card, okay? So there is something new that's coming in here for you. Judgment card, again, uh, some angelic help, guidance, and assistance on your journey, whether you're looking to make it and make a change, do things better, okay? The Devil card could also be release of uh, control okay especially if you've um, set some intentions to manifest new opportunities or anything uh, sometimes we can try and control the outcome a little bit too much and that devil card in the blessings area is to that let it go okay uh, we've got the four of cups here too there's something coming in here but you need to have an open mind and open heart to see it to be aware of it there's sometimes also with the four of cups here the grass may be greener the grass looks greener on the other side but it sometimes isn't Okay, so um, we've got the Hierophant card coming out here as well. Some more spiritual guidance on your journey. The Five of Pentacles. Aha, here's our warning. All right, and then we have the Death card here. Bringing in some changes for you. Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So there is some forward momentum that is coming in here for you, okay? And uh, some exciting opportunities, okay? This uh, Eight of Wands is quite often uh, represents our intentions hitting their mark, okay? So spirits like, don't worry, I heard your order. I've got everything happening in the background, and it's just a matter of time before these opportunities manifest in your reality. And of course, we do have an Ace of Wands coming in here for you. All right, but the Eight of Wands also uh, is really good news. News, positive communication also brings in an energy of success and abundance okay so this is really flying uh, flying uh, in the background around for you okay so I think some of you you've got some really big doors that are opening for you okay I think there's something that you just need to put your worries and fears aside the nine of swords stop overthinking over analyzing the hanged man invites you to release this overly analytical energy that you may have and helps you to take the next step. The Fool card brings in an energy of releasing worries, doubts, and fears. Okay, haha, -ha, up here. Okay, and just jumping into something with both feet, trying new things, doing things a little bit differently. Some of you are certainly on the quest for something new because you need to get out of wherever you are right now. I think you're feeling pretty confident in that Emperor energy there that you can achieve whatever it is that you set out to achieve or make whatever change that you need to make, okay? Devil there has you very much in complete control, all right? Um, but also with an open mind. The, um, the emperor, and their emperor does keep an open mind, right? Because the emperor has a plan, has a strategy, okay? And moves forward with it, all right? But also recognizes when there's a course correction that needs to be made, okay? It's very important energy to be in. But I think the fool card here, there is something exciting that's coming in here, some good news. Okay, you might already know, but you might also just be on the quest for something new. And, you know, with the judgment card right beside it here is helping you release your fears, your worries, your anxieties, anything like that it helps you to see the potential, to see the opportunities, the doors that are in front of you that are opening up for you. Okay, and really has you um, jumping into something with both feet. But you've got this guidance and this big picture way of thinking with the hanged man. And I think before you jump into anything, I think you're just going to do a little bit of research, not to the point where, not to the point where you get overly analytical. Okay. Um, but I think you're going to, um, for the most part, just get your ducks in a row. Okay. Like, is this opportunity too good to be true? Let's get a little bit more information. Huh. This looks fantastic. This looks exciting. Let's go. 
okay so but the nine of swords that's here okay yes there could be an over overly analytical energy you could be worried tossing and turning especially if you're in an environment that is not healthy for you okay and sometimes we do get worried but spirits really trying to give you a little bit of guidance here okay uh, you may be up in your head a little bit too much our brains are wonderful things until they start to take over okay so there's certainly some energy here that needs to be released because spirits trying to show you the way your intuition is trying to talk to you you may also be awake in the middle of the night because you might have be having some repeating dreams okay and uh you know so pay attention to your dreams if you're having them okay especially with us being in pisces season okay your there's uh, there's some information or guidance or something coming in here to point you the right way to point you in the right direction Okay, and you know, don't forget it was well, we've got the devil on one shoulder there, the angel on the other, but I feel as though you're going to overcome any of your lower vibe energies there with that devil card. You're going to overcome your worries, your fears, your anxieties, okay, your overthinking, overanalyzing, maybe even obsessive behavior here, and I think you're going to throw all that to the wind, and you're going to be a little bit more in the flow which is a very nice place to be, okay? Because the Fool does represent new beginnings, new opportunities. Um, you know, it does represent that there's something really exciting coming in here for you, something that you've maybe wanted or maybe something that comes in out of the blue, okay? And, you know, maybe you do need to take a chance. You do need to put your worries and fears aside with that devil card, and that's that blessing to release those, okay? And just go for it. Jump into something with both feet. Don't overanalyze. Get out of your own head and trust your heart, okay? The Four of Cups here can certainly be an energy here where you're not engaged with your heart space, with what you want, and there's something coming in here for you, and you have to be open and receptive to it, okay, in order to see something for its truest potential. The Hierophant here brings you in uh, some knowledge, some wisdom, okay? I think some of you are maybe doing a little bit of research, okay? A little research never hurt anybody, all right? The Hierophant is... A higher level of learning okay a little bit of an ascension here so some of you are ascending to new heights okay perhaps you have an opportunity here for promotion step it up a little bit okay take it up a notch there okay it might be a little bit scary okay because of course any kind of promotion especially the hierophant can certainly have you in a leadership role and that always comes with a little bit of fear okay um because now you're all of a sudden in the spotlight okay and you got more responsibilities you got people to look after all of these things and man oh man that can be uh, a little bit scary a little bit frightening but you know what if anyone can do that i think you can but the Hierophant also brings in uh, some learning, okay? So it could be that you've learned things on your journey thus far, and now you're applying your skills and your knowledge to your best advantage, okay? But you also may get some sort of advice or guidance that comes in here with this energy as well. Someone to show you the way, show you the way forward. We already do have a little bit of mentorship coming in there or some advice coming in there, and the Hierophant could be part of that as well. Uh, Taurus energy with this one. Uh, did I say Emperor was uh, Aries energy? Temperance is Sag energy. Okay, so we do have all those. We also got Scorpio energy here as well. All right, so you could be dealing with any one of those uh, people. Okay, it's just the energy that's around it there as well. All right, but with the Hierophant, okay, yes, you could be possibly have an opportunity here to take the lead on something. It could be a job, it could be a promotion, it could be something new, but it may also be a project or a creative endeavor, right? Really uh, have your chance to shine, that guy's shiny, okay? Have your chance to shine and show people what you're made of. But you could also have the opportunity here to expand your knowledge and skills in some way, okay? And, you know, because that Hierophant, you could either be the lead or you could be the student, okay? Um, but the Hierophant also does um, bring about some order and some structure, okay? Following the rules, following the procedures, all of those things. But with the Fool card right here as well, I feel that for some of you, you might be feeling a little bit closed off. You might be feeling as though you're boxed in a little bit. It's like, okay, this is boring, playing by the rules, okay? It's like, ugh, I have more to offer than this, okay? So you might be feeling a little bit trapped, devil energy, a little bit trapped, okay, in your current circumstances, environment, and with the fool, you want to break out of that, okay? So you may be wanting to break free out of tradition, break free out of some sort of 
structure that is actually holding you back and keeping you stuck. Okay, so you might have that little sense of adventure coming in there to, um, you know, to uh, get out of that situation that is not allowing any more personal growth for you. Okay, or isn't allowing you to be who you are or to use all of your skills and abilities um, to your uh, to your greatest good to your best advantage there. Okay, so you could certainly be on the quest for that. The fool typically goes out on a quest, goes out on a journey. All right, so you might be putting the feelers out. But again, some of you, this may be where you're setting your intentions to have a little bit more freedom. Okay, um, in your financial situation or even in your workplace, right? Uh, maybe you're looking to uh, have a little bit of, um, uh, do a little bit of traveling. Uh, the fool can be like, you know, the wandering fool kind of thing, right? So maybe you're looking for uh, um, opportunities so that you can hit the road a little bit. You can get out, uh, you can get out in the world. Um, you know, especially if you're, interesting, uh, especially if you're like in sales or something like that. Um, interesting energy. Um, if you're like uh, in sales or maybe you have like uh, development skills, like business development skills that you've got and perhaps you are looking for an opportunity where you're not just stuck in one, in one spot where you can perhaps visit other departments, uh, other cities, okay, and you can get out on the road a little bit so that you're not feeling kind of closed in or boxed in in some way with that. But we've got the judgment card here as well. So I feel some of you are very much at a turning point um, at this particular moment in time. The judgment card can be really where, where we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel or we're figuring out some truths, okay? Um, the judgment card is, you know, perhaps some sort of revelation comes in here. Perhaps something that's been previously hidden, okay, comes to light, right? We've got a four of cups here as well. Something that you previously didn't see or weren't privy to or some information that you didn't have or some opportunities that uh, you didn't have before, okay? The judgment card is certainly where we do start to see the light and this bring in some enlightenment, certainly with that hanged man energy playing a, a significant role there. So there could be some sort of truths that are revealed, some sort of opportunities that present themselves to you. But the judgment card is also a release of old energy, a release of situations. So the judgment card is right here, front and center in your reading. The judgment card quite often does represent um, Archangel Michael. Okay, the call to action, the call to follow your soul's purpose, okay, um, seeing that light at the end of the tunnel, all right, but to release any old fears, worries, doubts, toxic behaviors, anything like that, release current situations so that you can embrace the new coming in, okay, sometimes we just need to feel our fear and go for the gold anyway, okay, sometimes we do need to recognize with judgment card the difference between fear and excitement. Okay, because sometimes our brains take those things over, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes trying something new or breaking out of a rut is scary. It gives us those butterflies in our stomach, but ultimately is exciting at the same time. Sometimes our brain backfires a little bit and it misinterprets that nervous excitement, okay, and that kind of, you know, excitement, but a little bit of underlying fear as well. Sometimes our brain misinterprets that as though, oh my God, we've got to go into protection mode now. The danger, danger are lying ahead. So that's where in the eight and nine of swords, we do tend to get a little bit wrapped up in our heads. Our brain is like, uh-uh, protection mode. Okay, so uh, the judgment card here, the judgment energy is helping us release all of that energy and, you know, take our next steps forward, whatever those happen to look like for us. When we have the judgment card, we can also um, make amends with our current situation as well. There may not be anything wrong with where you currently are right now or what state that you're currently in. Um, so there may be an opportunity here to fix and repair a situation here as well. Make improvements. The Ace of Wands can certainly be uh, some new um, opportunities coming in here for you. Um, something exciting, new projects, endeavors, all of these things, new jobs. But it can also be making improvements where something has been missing here. Something has been um, you know, uh, lost or at a lack, okay? The judgment card, something is revealed here and we may have a chance to right some wrongs and to make some amends there as well and fix and repair our situation. Start off on a fresh foot, okay? Make, uh, re-engage with where we currently are 
and stay in our current situation, okay? But that does require making some change, um, being honest and open with that judgment energy there, okay? And seeing someone else's point of view, all right? Whether that's you or the other person, two people getting back on the same page, perhaps, okay? Um, you might actually be the person that can lead the charge with this as well, all right, um, you know, because if you're if you're anything Capricorn is that you do naturally sometimes step into the lead. OK, um, might not always work for you. OK, but you certainly have that go getter kind of mentality. So there could certainly be something here that you can fix and repair. The seven of pentacles has you really contemplating your current situation, thinking is am I where I want to be? Is something going to work out the way that I want it to? Is there room for growth? Is there room for, um, you know, for something to pay off? Okay. Because um, quite often when we get the seven of pentacles, we've made a long-term commitment or investment with something and it's gotten to a certain point. And now we need to take a step back and think, is there more room for growth? Can I stick with my current situation? Is this still healthy? Is this going to give me rewards and dividends and all of these things? Or do I need to cut my losses? Do I need to take it and run to get back my initial investment plus anything I've put in and try something new and different? So the seven of pentacles can certainly have you, um, you know, taking a step back and taking a look at whatever situation that you're dealing with, okay? Because sometimes the seven of pentacles, sometimes we're, there's something that we're missing. Sometimes we need to take a different approach. We need to look at things from a different perspective in order to find our way forward or in order to find the answers that we're looking for, okay? the um, But so for some of you, you can stick, where, stick with where you are. Something has been lacking here with a five of pentacles, but it has the opportunity to grow and move forward, but it does require a little bit of change changes um, within the environment. So whether it's how people interact with each other or, hey, maybe your blessing here, huh, this would be awesome because the judgment card can certainly be about a release, right? Um, you know, if you're, if you have toxic, a toxic person or a challenging person or individual, maybe even a boss in your workplace, um, you know, perhaps the blessing here for you is that they go, they leave, they go find something else. Okay. Or maybe they get fired and you're like, oh my God, peace and harmony is restored back into our workplace once again. Okay. So, you know, and so it, it, you know, being a little bit patient and being calm about something um, is uh, actually to your benefit, okay? Because again, there may be a loss here of some sort with this five of pentacles, okay? But there's still potential for something here to transpire. So that's very interesting there. And of course, we do have a death card. So there certainly could be an ending to a situation that has not been wonderful, okay? So, um, and that brings about healing and it's like, oh, the angels are all singing our praises here. So if that's you, that's awesome, okay? Just saying, okay, there's your improvement that's coming in, all right? Um, but the seven of pentacles could also just be that energy there where it's like, you know what? I need something new and something different. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm attracting in here. I do need to let something go because something is just not where I want it to be with the five of pentacles that's here. I'm not connected to with what I do and I'm just feeling this lack of fulfillment here because the seven of pentacles can sometimes be success unfulfilled. Okay. And I think that if you're feeling in that energy, okay, that you do need to break out. Maybe you've just gone as far as you can go. Okay. Maybe something was great for quite a while and now it's not. Okay, I feel here you are willing to let something go and you're willing to embrace new opportunities that are certainly coming in here for you because, I mean, let's face it, Ace of Wands, something new and something exciting coming in. Good news here, sense of adventure. All right, all of these things, something that uh, allows for a little bit of growth, especially if you're in a five of pentacles energy here now, you can go up to a seven, okay, and you can really, um, you know, get things back on track there for yourself. All right, but there may certainly be a loss here of some sort, all right, with the five of pentacles. Now, this is a lack mentality, okay, because sometimes we get a little bit down in the dumps. Okay, here we are back to the devil energy again, okay, and sometimes we get in these kind of negative ways of thinking or, you know, this challenging energy where we're focused too much on what we don't have, 
okay, or what we've lost or what we have not obtained or, or attained, and we're not seeing the potentials here, okay? So when we get the Five of Pentacles, yes, there could certainly be a down patch in something here. You could certainly um, experience a loss of some kind, okay? But sometimes we do need to lose something in order to gain something. So this can certainly be a... Uh, uh, a message here from spirit that there's something that you're not seeing. There's some opportunities here that are currently uh, not in your line of sight, okay? And you need to shift your perspective or ask for help in order to find them, in order to find your way forward. Because in a lack mentality, we focus on the problems. We focus on the negative. We don't see the potential and we don't see the solutions. So here right below this judgment card, okay, there's something that you're not seeing here and the judgment card brings these things to light. These opportunities, the information, okay, maybe even brings some guidance from another person in here so that you can see your way forward, you can be open, okay, and whether this is to improve your current situation, re-engage with your current situation, or whether there's uh, a different way of doing something or a different opportunity that's out there for you, I think that um, you're really being guided, okay, your intuition is showing you the way, but again, you may have some someone out there that can actually help you, but you might need to ask for it, five pentacles sometimes is a stubborn energy, it's like we don't have what we want, we know maybe that there's something out there. We're not seeing it, but we're not asking for help, right? So, uh, you know, so you may need to ask for a little bit of help, okay? The Hierophant energy or even the Emperor energy there. Someone may be able to give you some information or even show you a different way of doing something, all right? So, but I do feel that, you know, if you're in this Five of Pentacles energy now, Okay, you don't have what you're looking for. You're looking for something better. The Four of Cups, okay, you're in an environment there right now which is not fulfilling for you. Okay, I think there is something new coming in here for you, that Four of Cups. But, you know, quite often this Fourth Cup is something that we're not seeing at the moment. Okay, we do have to be open. Okay, the Hanged Man energy, we've got to be open there to see the potential in things, okay, or to be open to different opportunities. Sometimes we get an opportunity or we find something, right, Ace of Wands, it looks really good, it looks really exciting, right, that fiery energy there, some inspiration, some creative energy there, some, you know, fresh approach, okay, something that's really uh, lights a fire in our soul, but if we don't see the potential of what this has to offer, okay, then we may still remain closed off to it. So being open is very, very important, okay? And Seven of Pentacles, same thing, right? It's like we're taking a good, long, hard look at something and taking a practical approach at something there as well, okay? And seeing, does this have room for growth? What, ha what does it do? What do we not do? Okay, and making a decision based on that, seeing the potential in something there, okay? And I think the judgment card helps you see the light, helps you see your way forward, okay? And helps you change your perspective here as well, okay? Feel the fear, embrace the new, okay? Or find find your way forward to uh, fix and resolve a situation that you may be dealing with as well. All right, we do have the death card coming in here with Scorpio energy, out with the old, in with the new. Sometimes in order to find our path for success and fulfillment, we do need to put an end to a certain situation. So the death card can certainly represent an ending um, that is necessary because there's something new that's coming in. And we see this with that Ace of Wands, with the Fool card, okay? Something that with the Hierophant that we can commit to for the long term, okay? Or maybe even something that breaks us out of um, a rut there. But the death card can also represent personal growth. And we see that already with you with the devil card there, okay, as a blessing, is to let go of the uh, the lower vibe energies and to embrace the positive outlook, the positive um, aspects of things, expansion of the mind, okay, and this brings in that um, personal growth for us as well. The death card is quite often a transformational energy, okay, and it's quite often one of personal growth, leveling up, okay, so there could certainly be um, an opportunity here for you to level up and improve your current circumstances, um, perhaps an investment here that took a little bit of a nosedive with the five of pentacles, perhaps has an opportunity here to recover, 
okay? Um, and uh, follow your intuition with that one, okay? Um, especially if you play the stock market or anything like that, there's a lot of ups and downs, right? You know, it's like, oh, you don't actually lose money. You only lose money on paper, right? Until you actually pull some money out, okay? So, you know, you could certainly making be making the decision there. Well, my, my investments took a nosedive. Do I stick with it or do I make a change, okay? And then the seven of pentacles, you know, you could certainly have the potential there if you stick with your investment long term that it'll eventually pay your dividends but some of you could be making the decision with the death card to nope you know what I think we've I think I've recovered a little bit here okay it took a loss I've recovered here a little bit with the seven of pentacles <laughs> I'm out of here okay there's something better here um for me okay I find a better place to put my money okay so you could certainly have a change of mind there as well okay so we do have like uh, a lot of changes that are going on for you here new opportunities and uh change of mind and ways of thinking but the judgment card here in case i didn't already say it because i don't think i did you might get a second chance at something here as well okay because the judgment card yes releasing and letting go seeing the truth okay something is revealed out of the darkness into the light but the judgment card can also bring about reconciliation, yes, but also second chances. So there could be something here, the Four of Cups energy especially, something that you thought that you had lost and you brought in a little bit of ugh, kind of disengagement, all right, but then it may actually come back around again, and this is actually really quite exciting. So again, in Five of Pentacles, something that you thought was lost, okay, perhaps may come back in. Sometimes, you know, Sometimes opportunities that come around the first time, the circumstances aren't optimal. We're not ready, okay? Or there's something that isn't quite right about it, right? Um, and, you know, quite often it boils down to timing and us being ready. And so sometimes those things come back around again. And so, you know, again, there might be something here that you thought you had lost your shot or you thought you only had one shot at something. And maybe those doors of opportunity open up because we've got this Ace of Wands here. Really, this can be pretty much anything with that Ace of Wands, okay? Usually the first signs of manifestations coming to fruition. And, you know, you just got to seize the moment, okay? Seize the day, see the potential in things, and magic can really happen. Remember, we've got this shift of energy with this Eight of Wands bringing you in good news, great communication, okay? And also success and abundance coming in there as well. Also signs of manifestation that are coming in here. So remember, manifestations um, quite often present themselves in the form of an opportunity. So we've got to be able to see the potential of things coming in, okay? So I think there's something really exciting coming in here for you, some really great energy, all right? And of course, the blessing is this release of, you know, the lower vibe energies or perhaps even something in your reality that is not healthy, okay? To be replaced by something a lot better. So I'm going to pull out the last few cards here for you. These are fortune cards. And while I'm shuffling, I will give you the details. We are running a contest here over at the moon. I say we because it's just me, but it's also all of my uh, my spirit guidance there as well. They all participate. They love running a contest. Anyways, um, so the contest is to win a free personal reading, free to enter, free to win. doesn't cost you anything, just an exchange of energy. But you have to commit to doing one thing. I'm not going to hold you accountable, but you can. Okay, and I'm sure spirit will here as well. Just commit to doing one nice thing for yourself. Okay, contest is open all the way up until March 6th. Okay, and just commit to doing one nice thing for yourself. Put yourself first. Self-love, self-care, just one thing. Are you, have you, is there something you want to buy that you've been putting off? Is there, uh, you know, some quiet time that you want? Do you, are you, can you find some time for some meditation? Whatever that, whatever self-love, self-care means for you, it only involves you, okay? So uh, just do that and then leave me a comment in the box down below. Say, I love myself, okay? And that way I know that you're participating in the contest. I will be announcing the winner on March 9th. I do daily readings as well. So on Wednesdays, I do midweek motivation readings because that's usually when people's energies drop halfway through the week and they're like, oh, is the week over yet? So I do a little bit of a, a perk me up on Wednesdays there to kind of <sighs> breathe some fresh energy into the week. All right, and that is when I will announce that winner on March 9th. 
hopefully while you're down there leaving your comment if there's something here that resonates with you hopefully you will hit the like button on this reading and also subscribe to my channel that would show me a little bit of love i truly appreciate that that is for sure okay and um but otherwise let's get right back to your reading there and you know what the great thing about this is that even if you don't win the contest you are already won because you did something nice for yourself you already won a second time because the i love myself is actually a really positive affirmation that actually opens your heart so we've got communication a reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. So a little bit of luck on your side. We do have some good news coming in here with the eight of wands. All right. And we do actually have something that may come back around, possibly some reconciliation or a second chance of something here with the judgment card. So you never know. You may actually get an opportunity from someone that you used to work with. We've got travel. Hey, yay, we have this coming out already. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and a career advancement for others. Okay, so love that energy. And last but not least, we have sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication in relationships. Look at that. Wonderful. The sun is shining on you. There's some exciting new energy that's coming in here. Get creative. Get inspired. Let's try something new. Take a leap. Take the next steps forward. And I think there's a world of opportunity opening up for you guys. I'm going to leave that there. I hope there was something here that did resonate with you. If there was, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, join our little soul tribe community here. And I thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you again here very shortly. Bye.